man, it's crazy. I went into this airsoft store and I said, give me your smallest, most concealable airsoft pistol, something that I can take to my next game because I'm gonna be going to my first game for this year around April, beginning of May time, and then I'm gonna start uploading it onto my YouTube channel. So uh, what you got? Then the guy in the store gave me this. And I thought, nice. And so would you think, nice, until you realize, what the hell is this? Look at the size of it. How is this gonna fit my pistol? So he said to me, just open it, open it. And I said, I'm not opening it. Give me a proper size pistol case. And he said, just open it. So I opened it. And I thought, ooh, nice, another Glock. As if I need another Glock, but yes, nice. I might take that one until I realized it's the world's smallest airsoft Glock. What the hell? Does a slide even function? Oh my gosh. Man, these are so dinky. I mean, look, that's where you, you put the gas in there as well. And I'm like, dude, come on. Was I born yesterday? These are lighters. These are not airsoft guns. And he's like, they are airsoft guns. They take one millimeter BBs. Dude, really? One millimeter BBs? Man, next you're gonna be telling me you've got a 1911 with two barrels. <laughs> you're kidding, right? describe this thing. What a beast. It's a 1911 twice effectively. Absolutely awesome looking. It's the WeTech double barrel 1911. It's basically one of these twice. So yeah, just imagine two of these put together. So let me show you how they've done it. So it's not a case of they've literally got two WeTech 1911 gas blowback pistols and literally welded them together or stuck them together. It's actually properly constructed as a double barrel pistol. And guess what? There is a real steel version of this out there. Yes, a real one. Go online, check it out, and you will see how similar the airsoft version is. So let me take you around the gun itself. On the top, as you can see there, it's a solid unit. It is not two pistols stuck together as an afterthought. So you got your double hammers, you have your double grip safety, your double triggers, your double trigger guard, your double barrel, and your double mag, and your double lanyard point. One sight, the same right here at the back, a single sight, and of course, you got your safety and your mag release. Now let's talk about the mag before we go any further with this actual pistol. These mags are the exact same mags as the single 1911 mag. There's absolutely no difference whatsoever apart from the base. 
as you can see, the base of this double barrel 1911 is one solid piece that holds both these mags together. And just like the other normal 1911, you grab this little catch right there, you pull it all the way down, and you fill this up with your BBs. But wait, there's a problem. Look where this other catch is on this double mag. How are you supposed to get your finger in there to pull that catch down? Yes, you could just use a speed loader if you're lucky and just put it on the end and just load it up that way. Now I know a lot of airsofters don't like using speed loaders because they say it could wear down the lips on these mags. Which is why you have this little catch there as I've just shown you and then you pop your BBs in the hole here. But again, what about this catch right there? You can't get to it to push it down to put the BBs in. Well, yeah, you can. It's a bit of a pain, but what you could do is get a flathead screwdriver, insert it in just there. Let me just get it in there and then I'll show you, look. So it's holding on. Can you see it? I'm pushing it up and down. And you just push it all the way down. Yes, it's a pain, I know, but hey, this is such a unique pistol. Or if you're one of those softers that don't really care about your lips, I'm talking about the lips on the mag, just put a speed loader on there. Alternatively, if you don't have sausage fingers, you can put your finger in there and at the very tip of your nail, grab hold of it and push it down. Okay, so just like any other gas blowback pistol, you've got all your basic functions. For example, on this side, you have your slide release or slide lock. So if I rack the slide back, it will stay open because obviously there's no ammo in the mag. To release the slide, you hit your slide release. And although it has double triggers, you only have to pull one of the triggers to fire the gun. Right, shall we have a look inside? Okay, to take this gun down, just like any other normal gas blowback pistol, well, 1911 gas blowback pistol, you see this little notch right there? You need to pull the slide back so it lines up with this, and then from this side, you push this little button right there, this will pop out, and then you can take the slide off. And there you have the internals of the double barrel slide. Now to be fair to WeTech, because I do know it's not to everyone's taste, WeTech guns, but look at the internals of this. You can tell that WeTech has improved a little with their internals. That looks very sturdy, very well built, and it's of a much higher quality build than its predecessor. And another great thing is that each barrel has its own hop-up adjustment. Nice. Okay, so I want to chrono this pistol. Now that's going to be interesting with a double barrel. <laughs> and obviously I want to do a shooting test. So let's get some gas and some BBs in this thing. And then we're going to take it to the range. So just like I've mentioned before, you grab hold of this, pull it all the way down, let it rest in this little notch right there. And then you put your BBs in that hole. And once your BBs are in, you release your little catch right there so it sits behind your last BB. Nice. Now it is important that no matter how many BBs you put in this mag, make sure you put the same exact amount in the other mag. Because it really would make no sense me putting 15 in here and say putting 10 in that one. That just takes away the whole doubleness of this pistol. <laughs> Okay, let's get some green gas in there. Oh, and let me just show you quickly. Look, there's only one place to fill the mag. The other one is blank. So basically, you fill it up through this valve right here and it will fill up both mags. Cool. Okay, let's take it to the range. Okay, so time for the shooting test. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chrono this bad boy. It will be interesting to see if it chronos correctly, what with it having a double barrel. Well, yeah, it worked. And as you can see there, the first shot is giving me about 325 FPS. Let's put a few more rounds through this chrono and see what we get.
So there you have it, this WeTech Double Barrel 1911. On average, it's gonna give you around the 300 to 310 FPS rating on there. And I would suggest that if you use stronger gas, it will give you a lot more. But for skirmishing, this is perfect. Or is it? Because as much as I love this WeTech Double Barrel 1911, it is so tactical, but is it practical out there in the field? I don't know. Can you even get a holster for it? Yes, you can. Check the video description below for places where not only can you get this pistol, you can also buy a holster for this bad boy. Now imagine turning up at a skirmish, at a gameplay day with one of these bad boys. It's more of a case of, wow, look at me, I've got one of these, than this is perfect for skirmishing. No, for me, this is more of a collector's piece because as you know, I like collecting airsoft pistols. And this is absolutely fantastic and I love it okay so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna empty the mags and see if the slide locks back successfully so let me just move the chrono out of the way Woo! that my friends is awesome and might I add, the kick that you get on this, due to the double barrel, is awesome. You get double the kick, literally double the kick. Nice. I'm this off mic, and boy do I love this WeTech Double Barrel 1911. show you a new feature in my airsoft mic armory I'm now going to be collecting as many airsoft patches as possible so this section of the airsoft armory is going to be dedicated to airsoft patches so let me just show you the few that I've got already um, okay over there is a good old UK flag right there next to that is my official airsoft mic patch and you got the Canadian flag right there You've got the American flag, you've got like a human target there and it says my business card, <laughs> that's cool. And you've got the combo flag right there with the American flag and the UK flag. And right next to it, one of my favorite ones right here, this one says airsoft because even paintballers need heroes. <laughs> that's funny. But I do know there's a paintball version of this that says paintball because even airsofters need heroes, cool. But anyway, Next to that is, or should I say beneath that, is Bomb Up Airsoft, one of my favorite retailers, Airsoft retailers. And next to that, a naughty one. <laughs> it says, fart now loading. Um, next to that, you've got the G&G &G patch. Uh, let's come back over here. Got another G&G &G patch right there. And below that, my official international zombie hunting permit. <laughs> so there you go. Those are my patches. Obviously, I've got a few more because I have some on my uh, body armor. And I'm going to be filling up this wall with patches. So each video I do, I may or may not do a quick update at the end of each video showing you what patches I've got. Or I may just leave it as a separate video altogether. <laughs> nice.